in this video, we are going to talk about if statements. An if statement is a type of complex statement that makes use of conditions in order to determine whether or not to execute a block of code. It's a way for you to write some code that will execute only when the specified condition is fulfilled. If statements begin with the if keyword, followed by a condition, which is enclosed within parentheses. The substatements, enclosed within curly braces, will then follow. Let's take a look at an example. Here, we have two variables, score and passing grade. Here, we have an if statement. This is the if statement's condition. In this if statement, the condition checks whether the value of the score variable is greater than or equal to the value of the passing grade variable. If it is, then this trace statement will be executed. If not, then nothing will happen. So right now, the value of score is 75 and the value of passing grade is 60. Therefore, the condition is met. So this code will execute. And if we test the movie, we should see the trace statements message come out in the output window. Let's go back to the code and change the value of the score variable. Let's change it to 50. So now, when we check the if statement, the condition is no longer met because 50 is not greater than or equal to 60. Because the condition is not fulfilled, then the code in the if statement will not run. So if we test the movie, we won't see anything in the output window. So to recap, the expression within the parentheses is the condition. It evaluates to a Boolean value, either true or false. The substatements are enclosed within curly braces. If the condition turns out to be true, then the substatements will run. But if the condition turns out to be false, then the substatements will not run. An if statement can have more than one substatement. In this example, we have two substatements within the if statements body. Let's go back to the flash document. The current values that we have make our if statements condition false. So this means that when the program runs, nothing's going to happen. But what if we wanted the program to still respond with something even though the condition turns out to be false. For example, if this condition isn't met, then we could still respond with a different message, something like, sorry, you need to study harder. If we wanted to do that, then we can add an else clause. The else clause is used to define substatements to be executed in case the if statements condition is not met. Here's how it looks like. After the if statement, you would add the else keyword. This defines the start of the else clause. It is then followed by its own set of substatements that are enclosed within curly braces. What this entire thing means is that if this condition turns out to be false, then do this instead. Let's go back to our example and let's add the else clause. If our condition were true, then this would still run and the else clause would be ignored. But currently, the values that we have make the condition false. So this means that it's the else clause that's going to be executed. So if we test the movie, we'll see the message specified in the else clause instead. Now, what if we wanted to specify more than one condition? For example, if the score is greater than or equal to 90, then we'll say, congratulations, you got a high score. If the score is greater than or equal to 75, then we'll say, congratulations, you passed. If the score is greater than or equal to 60, then we'll say, you passed, but just barely. 
So here we've got three different conditions. How do we specify them? We could use the else if clause. The else if clause lets you specify another condition together with a set of substatements that will execute when this other condition is met. Here's how it looks like. You start off with an if statement with the first condition and the set of substatements that will execute when that condition is met. You then follow it up with the else if clause. You start with the else if keywords, followed by another condition and its own set of substatements. If you want to specify another condition, then you just go ahead and add another else if clause. And you just keep adding as many of them as needed. So let's go ahead and try that. I'll create the score variable first and give it a value later. Now let's write the first if statement. If the score is greater than or equal to 90, trace, congratulations, you got a high score. Else, if the score is greater than or equal to 75, trace, congratulations, you passed. Else, if the score is greater than or equal to 60, trace, you passed, but just barely. So what's going to happen here is, when the program runs, the first if statement will be checked. If the condition turns out to be true, then it will execute. If not, then it will move on to the next else if statement. If this next condition turns out to be true, then it will execute. If not, then it will just keep moving to the next else if statement until it finds a condition that turns out to be true. If none of them turn out to be true, then nothing happens. But we also have the option to add an else clause at the end of all this, just in case none of the conditions are met. So let's add one as well. Else, trace, sorry, you need to study harder. So if none of the conditions are met, then the else clause will run. So now let's assign a value to the score variable. I'll give it a value of 80. With a value of 80, the first condition turns out to be false. So this isn't going to execute. However, the second condition does turn out to be true in this case. So when we test the movie, this is the message that we will see in the output window. Going back to the code, you might have noticed that with a value of 80, the third condition also turns out to be true. But the trace statement that we have here does not get executed. This is because the second condition already evaluates to true. Once that happens, the succeeding conditions are no longer evaluated. 